Hude and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, this is the place where I try to explore the amazing world of open source voice technology without all that marketing hype and with just hopefully the right amount of nerdiness. When you look at the so-called state-of-the-art text-to-speech, whatever really that means in today's AI speedrun, one thing keeps popping up, LLM based. But what does that really mean? I mean, apart from adding yet another layer of complexity, what do TTS systems actually gain in case of prosody and expressive TTS? Today, I will dive into the hype around TTS and LLM and ask, are large language models truly the future of speech synthesis? So stick around and if you like that video, give it a thumbs up and enjoy to the channel and subscribe to the channel to not miss upcoming videos. And now let's go. Let's start taking a look to uh, Google Scholar, so for scientific research papers. And uh, if you take a look to uh, papers containing TTS and LLM, so text-to-speech and large language models, just in 2025, which is now September, you can see 2,000 um, entries here. So it's over 2,000 results containing these phrases. So this really seems to be a thing. So Spark TTS, an efficient large language model based text-to-speech model, QL TTS, enhancing LLM, and so on and so on. If we take a look to the first entry, Spark TTS, we can see on the top of the abstract, recent advances, <laughs> advancements in LLMs have driven significant progress in zero-shot text-to-speech. And this is interesting because obviously zero-shot voice cloning or text-to-speech means you have a huge and diverse and uh, various foundation model trained with lots of speakers and you can clone a voice with really a short input. So just a few seconds of audio should do the job to clone the voice based on, this, on these huge uh, data sets and models. So, but I'm not sure if this only applies to zero shot or if LLMs help by textual understanding to do better pronunciation and to more expression in text-to-speech output. If you take a look to the GitHub repository of Spark TTS, you can see here it's uh, based on or uses the power of large language models, which is QN in this case uh, here exactly. So it's QN based, and uh, the next one is Office TTS. You can take a look here, search for LLM, and you'll find capabilities of large language models for speech synthesis. So this is LAMA 3B Backbone and the journey continues. We have Microsoft Wipe Voice in the uh, repository. So here again we have large language models levering understanding textual context. So this might be the hint. So LLMs help help to understand the content of the phrase and this might help the TTS process itself to do better pronunciation. But guessing is not knowing and obviously I could do days and days of reading scientific papers which honestly I really would not understand at all. But why read and learn if you can play around and test? And in this case, I will do a really simple test. I will use a Koki TTS model, which has no large language model base or support at all, and will synthesize a phrase or a sentence. Let's say, today is the best day of my life. And then I will synthesize the same phrase and just change one word. This is the worst day of my life. And I guess that most of the sentences, if we take a look to the wave or the, 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 the audio spectrogram, uh, the most part of the phrase will be identical. Just the word best or worst should be different, obviously. And then I will put the same two phrases into one of these large language model based 
TTS solutions. So at first let's install Koki TTS or I already installed Koki TTS and now let's run the TTS server with the LJ speech English based WITS model. So hello, this is the best day of my life. Hello, this is the best day of my life. Okay, that's the positive way. Uh, let's save the audio and let's just change one word. Worst day of my life. Hello, this is the worst day of my life. By this enthusiastic pronunciation, you already know there's no context um, understanding of the worst day of my life. So again, let's save the audio. So you see me a little bit confused, honestly, um, because I opened both files uh, on the upper side, the negative, so the worst day, and the positive with the best day. Um, and you can see by the waveform already, even if there's no LM because it's the Koki TTS model, um, there's more difference than I expected to be there. Uh, if you have an understanding of that, please let me know in the comments. Um, but let's listen. So let's mute the positive one and just play uh, the um, negative one. Hello, this is the worst day of my life. Okay, so that's by far not match the worst day of my life because it's really sounding enthusiastic. Or unmute the positive one. Hello, this is the best day of my life. Even if the waveform has more differences than I would expect it, or <laughs> as I would have expected. And, um, but the pronunciation, the expression is not matching. So that's, it's neutral or the same way in both files. Uh, if we take a look to the spectrogram and I just do this, not because I understand these spectrograms, but I think this really makes me look professional. <laughs> really interesting. But nevertheless, um, now next step, let's use an LLM-based model to synthesize the same phrases. For the comparison, I will use a hugging face space of Office text to speech or TTS. Uh, start with the worst day of my life, voice Leo and hit speech. You can see generating speech tokens. So tokens that buzzword is probably known from these whole large language um, talks. Hello, this is the worst day of my life. Okay, Leo is really sounding negative. And let's help Leo to have it the best day of his life. Hello, this is the best day of my life. Hmm, I guess it's more optimistic. So maybe I'm looking too into detail. So let me know what you think. And by the way, if you like my content and would like to support me, please consider to subscribe to my channel if not done so already. And in general, let me know in the comments on what you think. Think, as we Germans say. Do it direct comparison in Order City. And here we are again in Order City comparing this Office, Office TTS positive uh, phrase and the negative phrase. And uh, let's listen just one more time. Positive. Hello, this is the best day of my life. Sounding a little bit positive. And the negative one. Hello, this is the worst day of my life. I hear different. Um, I'm not sure if this is the part or that kind of difference I expected it to be. What makes this difference? But is it the way the words are pronounced? What makes the difference? Or is it another way of timing? I think it matches the context. But maybe it's just the wish that I hear this difference based on the context difference. After some testing now, let's see the classical way. So the classical TTS solutions, they work on phonemes. The model trains on phonetics or on phonemes and it's inference. So it's used on phonemes. And one of the most popular phonemizers is eSpeak. So if I run this command here, eSpeak, uh, hello, today is the worst day of my life, with the IPA, so the International Phonetical Alphabet parameter, you can see the phonetical representation of this text 
learned and spoken by classical AI-based TTS solutions. Hello, today is the worst day of my life. So, hello, today is the worst day of my life. So this is the worst. Let's replace the worst with the best day. Hello, today is the best day of my life. You can see on the just on the phonetical level, uh, it's mostly the same uh, regard or apart from the best or the worst day. I asked the AI for help on uh, speech tokens, which I always see uh, during uh, research and uh, containing in this special case in the Llama 3B model. And the speech tokens seems to be, whatever this is, uh, Quantus, quanta, I even can't speak the word, but this unit generated by a tokenizer and the tokens capture the speech content, prosody and timbre, timbre so the model can recurrent, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, yeah, you can read it. So I guess the speech tokenizer or the tagging has to be in the original data. So the data sets that models like Llama 3B have been trained on must contain audio data in various prosody and emotions and so on, and has to be tagged in the original data sets. But this is just a wild guess. I'm not sure if this is really true. So again, and for the last time probably, please let me know in the comment box if you know more about that. And last but not least, before you will not forget to subscribe, do you? <laughs> um, I cloned the Orphos TTS repository and searched for tokens and I found this Zyn tokens in the code seems to generate the actual speech with some magic inside and uh, it's calling an engine generate speech. The function is returning tokens decoder sync. So let's hop on here. And I guess this will be a long night to get through all of this. So you do not have to wait until I've gone to, through all of this. So thanks for watching the video. Do not forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Help me in the comments. And if you like, we might see us next time. Bye.